Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, November 13th, 2019, just 24 hours away from Football Thursday over at DocSports.com, where I've got an eight-unit football play, top play on this weekend's card. We'll talk more about that on Thursday's video. Before I get to all the stuff for today, including a free pick, a real quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it is a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account. It comes with a Doc Sports guarantee. And again, to get started, all you got to do is click on the link below the video. All right, here's what's going on for us. First of all, yesterday we had a rare free pick loser, video loser uh, in college football. That was with Akron and they just, they're just bad. And again, even though that line went up from the opening number uh, by a good three, three and a half points, they still could not come within that number. Uh, but we'll look to get right back on track. It's been a great run over the past couple of weeks with these video picks. We'll look to get right back on the track, on track, I should say. We've got a college basketball play coming up on this report for you. Uh, speaking of college basketball, well, overall yesterday with premium picks in basketball, we went 3-0. and We cashed in the NBA with the Chicago Bulls, big fourth quarter, and knocked off uh, the New York Knicks. And in college baskets, a perfect 2-0 sweep last night. And uh, here's the thing. We went with Miami, Florida, and Utah State, by the way, in college baskets and here's the thing we've been for the most part playing one or two college basketball plays per day and we'll continue to do that for a few more days until each team gets a couple of games maybe three games under their belt and we get a better judge on you know not the elite level we know what they're going to do for the most part uh, but again these not so-called elite level teams uh, mediocre and below mid-level teams good teams but not great teams all that kind of stuff we get a good idea on how they're handling the new distance of the three-point line and also a assist turnover ratios for teams that have newcomers a lot of newcomers new faces on the roster and then we start pumping out even bigger plays what we've got going on on Wednesday I've got a knockout play in NBA action off last night's winner with the Chicago Bulls I've got a real cool college basketball game that I think you're gonna like on Wednesday and all the value on our side and uh, in fact one team still getting too much value despite losing a couple of players from last year we'll describe it all in the analysis and tell you why we like this particular team so one play in college basketball off the sweep last night. One play in the NBA. Uh, I do have NHL going on Wednesday's slate, and it's a seven-unit play in the NHL. I haven't had a ton of those, uh, but we are on a 41-24 and 24 October, November winning run in the NHL. And I've got a big seven-unit play going on Wednesday. It will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, anytime after that, right up until face-off. And no big price here. You don't have to lay big prices with me on these big plays. We don't do that. So anyway, it's available at DocSports.com on Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Seven-unit play in the NHL, 41-24 and 24 run. 55-36 and 36 NBA run. We've got a knockout play in the NBA. Those are both available at 1 o'clock Eastern. College basketball at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific off last night's sweep. And of course, we've got college and pro football being released at about 24 hours, a little more than that, 6 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. We'll tell you more about that eight-unit play on Thursday's video. So, hey, by the way, speaking of elite-level college basketball teams, how about that Kentucky loss on their home floor last night to the Evansville Purple Aces? And uh, listen, if you wanted to jump on the money line, you were talking about a 40-1 to situation for Evansville in that game game and I think what Kentucky had gone something like 52 or 53 straight uh, wins on their home floor against non-ranked and non-conference teams that's gone by the wayside they were as flat as can be and by the way like most who are watching that game probably thinking hmm I wonder who Evansville has next might be a little flat in their next game well <laughs> They didn't do us any favor because they are playing on Thursday, but the problem is they're playing Indiana Kokomo. Indiana Kokomo. Uh, what are you going to do? Anyway, there you go. So uh, big night in college baskets last night. We get the sweep there, and in the NBA, we'll look to do it again and also catch that seven unit play in the NHL on Wednesday. Hope you jump on board with us. Let's get to the free pick for Wednesday's card, and we are turning to college baskets. It's a battle in the state of Utah. BYU is hosting Southern Utah University. Brigham Young laying about 12 12 and a half in this one. And we do think they're going to get the cover here. Here's the thing. Now, I like Todd Simon. He's the coach 
of Southern Utah. He's been there, I think this is his third or fourth season now. And he has slowly started to put his stamp on this program and started to turn things around. SUU was not a great basketball program when he arrived. They didn't have a lot of talent. Uh, he's got a couple of decent players now, Dwayne Morgan being one of them. Uh, probably getting a little bit too much credit for winning that game at Lincoln, Nebraska. We've told you about on these videos with Nebraska's turnover issue, not just bringing in a new coach, who we do like, and Fred Hoiberg, but the fact that they have 16 players and only one saw action last year on the floor for Nebraska. 14 newcomers on that team. They lost to Riverside. Uh, they had a bad second half against SUU. In fact, Southern Utah only led like twice in the game, and one of those was at the very end of the contest when they won the game by a point, but they trailed by double digits at halftime. They trailed by double digits early in the second half. Nebraska, again, being as young as they are with a brand new coach, all these guys coming together, didn't know how to close things out. That's not going to happen at BYU in this game in Provo, and uh, even though that line might look big off of SEU coming off that big road win, we don't think it's big enough. We actually think BYU wins this probably by 16 or 17 points. Again, as much as we like Todd Simon, I've been to their home gym up in uh, Cedar City, Utah several times. They don't get a lot of home support. This one's on the road where all the support will be for BYU. We'll back BYU minus the points, our free pick for Wednesday's college baskets. Again, seven units NHL on Wednesday, plus NBA, plus college basketball. Don't forget on Thursday, we got our entire weekend of football going, including that eight-unit play. More on that on Thursday's video, and we'll have that by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Thursday morning. Again, the free pick here today is BYU minus the points in college baskets. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites with DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Morning. We'll talk to you then.